hey welcome back I still have my container running interactively and instead of doing it interactively now I'm going to exit this container so no container is actually running uh, let's clean up let's remove all the containers that we ran before clear the screen if I do the PS now no containers running in the background or anything like that and now going back to the same command uh, by the way, if I refresh here, it's gone. Yep, that's what we expect. And now instead of running into interactively, I'm going to remove this bash and then run it in the background. Yeah, run it in the background. We leave it to run and we can do proper development, right? Again, um, if I said map volume, no, it's mounting volume. So I'm still mount mounting the same directory. Uh, inside my Apache uh, PHP uh, folder, the, I, I named it site. You can name it triple W, whatever you want. I'm mapping it into slash var slash triple W slash site. By the way, I can add colon and add access permission. By default, it's read write, but I can do read only if I want. It's by default read write, so there's no need for us to do that because uh, Docker will automatically understand that it's actually read write, but that's just some extra information if you want. To actually know, um, so let's do that. Running in, run it in the background and mount the you know the, 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 these volumes between the container, between the host and the container. Do the development inside the host and it will be reflected in the container. Let's hit enter. If I check my uh, running uh, containers, this is the, the one I just launched three seconds ago. Now go back here refresh it says hello world and what I've done actually I've gone to this website uh, coursesweb.net and I let's just copy this example uh, web page if you just here I'll, pu I'll put the, I'll try to put the link and underneath it this video just copy it and then go now to site remember the problem here is that we have to use sudo so uh, I can't think of a way of actually avoiding that but this is one of the problems the security issues with uh, with docker that a lot of people actually complain about so sudo index uh, where am I yeah so sudo index.php and We've got it open here. Uh, no, we have got it open here. Where is it gone? Why is why is it stopped? Why? Let's have a look. Uh, PS. That should be fine. If I do get it index, it opens, but I don't think I can save. I can Okay. Oh, I can't save. Yeah, it won't allow me to save because I need to be roots or so scroll to that saving and then open it again. I'm sorry to take too much of your time. Yeah. What did I do before? It worked nicely this one. I don't know why. Yeah, so let's copy let's paste the contents of that page. Remember you know, with all the CSS settings and everything like that, uh, I am doing the editing and development from the host rather than the container. I can save and then go back to my local host. Remember, this is running now off the container. Refresh, and I can see the new page. So what are, what we've done here, we've proved we've proved to ourselves that uh, we can actually link or mount volumes from between the container and the host do development from our host and it will be reflected in the container this is a very simple example but of course you can just get the concept and develop your understanding of how docker works and then use it to develop you know larger applications maybe web applications or some other forms of applications maybe one interesting thing is that you can possibly uh, use mysql here uh, add, add it, it's a setting to the docker file or maybe use actually another container that runs 
uh, MySQL, MySQL server and link to it from the website. Anyway, I hope the idea makes sense. We've managed to do what we wanted successfully. I'm going to stop here and hopefully see you in the next video.